Rebbe and Zach. Yeah, Coach, I guess just big picture, first of all, two 20-point losses to Purdue, the 20-point loss to UConn, sort of what are some things that really need to happen for you guys, maybe even looking forward to the offseason to kind of get the program back on track? Well, we got to just continue to work and build with our team. I mean, we're a very young team when it comes to those two teams, um, UConn and, and Purdue. Um, not having X, you know, that hurts because it puts a lot of pressure on Gabe to get some things done. And I thought he played okay tonight, but I thought the difference was uh, Smith and, and then the big fella for them. Zach, on your right to Mike. I guess, Mike, how far can this team come, whether it's you know the rest of this season or through the offseason, in terms of maybe learning how to defend through stretches where shots aren't falling and, and really kind of starting with, I guess it's it's defensive intensity and not letting whatever's happening offensively affect it. We just got to, you know, we got to continue to grow as a team. And we're going to have to add some pieces. But I'm, the season's not over with, guys. I mean, we still have six more games, uh, seven more games, I believe, to go. And anything can happen. We got four of those seven at home, which we got to, we got to take care of our home court. We got to win at home. And then we got three games out on the road that, that we got to go and win. I mean, it's just that simple. So, I mean, we're still in the thick of things. We're in the middle of the pack. Um, this was a tough game tonight because, you know, you out on the road playing the number two team in, in a hostile environment. And, um, we just didn't, I thought we played well early. And from the uh, 15 or 10 minute mark going into the half, we just, we couldn't score, we threw the ball away, and that gave them the cushion going in at halftime. But then we were so awful coming out the second half, couldn't make shots, and they capitalized on it. Mike, on your right from Todd. Yeah, Mike, at the start of the second half, you just mentioned, were you, did you guys feel like you guys were rattled? What happened there with, you know, well, I, wouldn't call it, session, I wouldn't call it rattled, you gotta make shots. And we threw the ball away, had some turnovers, and I thought Malik tonight was, he just wasn't Malik, and they had a lot to do with that uh, from a defensive standpoint. And I think he was trying to do it himself and and just looked out of character. I mean, he's, he's been pretty solid for us this season, but tonight it just wasn't his night. Tied on your left, and Mike. Mike, uh, <clears throat> Tuesday night you get the response to adversity you wanted in the second half tonight. You did not. What's your level of frustration that the, the variance in terms of response and in terms of performance that you get from game to game is so wide? I mean, how, how do you kind of deal with that? I don't think it's something of the, I'm not frustrated. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I mean, again, we have a young team that's still trying to figure each other out. Not having X has is, is, is been used for this team. Uh, a point guard, a senior point guard that can help lead. and. So that's been missing. But for the most part, we have fought this season in spurts where we haven't been able to just put 40 minute ball games together like we have in the past. And that's been some of the frustration. But again, you know, for me as the coach, I got to just continue to teach. We got to continue to work and, uh, and put the guys in the best position possible to win. And, uh, tonight was just not our night. You got to give Purdue credit. They're a pretty damn good team. Mike, on your left, and Mason. Coach, I know it's a small sample size, but you started the game 4-4 four, four from the field, and then I think got to the free throw line on the fifth possession. What was working then, and why didn't you well, continue? Well, ball movement um, is is great when you run offense and you make shots. You know, I mean that's that cures a lot of problems. But when you start missing them. You put so much heat on your, your defense to get stops and rebound the ball. And, you know, with them having the big fella in, inside, it it cost us again early because we picked up a couple of fouls on Ware where he had to sit down. And, and I thought he played him well. I really – I thought Ware played a, a hell of a game tonight uh, considering that he didn't get to play much in Bloomington against the young man. So um, that was promising. Mason, now you're left. Coach, I know you mentioned that Purdue is a really good team. They've been doing this kind of performance to a lot of different teams. But when you take a glance at them, kind of from a program level, 
to then for them to rise to this this point where their success is so sustained? Do you see a sort of catalyst to that? Well, I thought our team the last two years was right there. I think we beat Purdue the last three out of four outings prior to this season. So I thought our team was pretty special last season, the season before. So uh, they have grown together. Uh, we revamped our team this this summer uh, with ten new faces on our ball club and. And we're young, we're, you know, and I'm not using that as an excuse. You know, I still expect to win, but it's it's kind of caught us a little bit. But we still got a lot of basketball still left. All right, thanks, Coach. We'll have Ware and Dan.